Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are in Strange Town continuing our home redesign project. And this time we will be doing it alphabetically, starting with the Beakers, because I actually had two requests for the Beakers house. So let's see what we can do with it. I have already evicted them. They have the few things that I wanted to keep in their inventory, plus they have a budget of 140000 The their house is one is 61,718 before I strip it and so let's get on with it. So here we are at one Tesla court which is named after Nikolai Tesla not after Elon Musk's car company and let's strip it and see where we stand. Before we strip it, let's look at the floor plan real quickly. We have the observation area over here. This is the lab. I'm going to keep the lab pretty much like this. Now, because of this, I don't have a whole lot I can do over here. The kitchen and dining area was here. Formal living room over here. This strange pass-through here. Very strange bathroom right here. And then here we've got the master bedroom a walk-through bathroom, a less formal sitting area, little hallway that they never use because they always walk right through the bathroom. And then we've got a powder room here, staircase, bedroom, and little sitting area, turret over here. So let's see what we can do with this. All right, now that I have everything stripped. I'm going to create the basement. I'm not going to use the full basement, but we are going to reclaim some area. So let's go ahead and just, we're going to ignore pretty much most of this area over here. And we will do it this way. And now I could actually build underneath here, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it just like this. And that's the new area that we have to work with the basement. I don't have to choose the depth because the depth, oh, I'll just do this little area right here too. Well, or hold it. No, I decided that I wasn't going to do anything un underneath the decking area. So now we will just go ahead and level it. We don't have to choose a level because that was already done for us. This is the only, oops, that didn't work out so well. This is the only game in or house in the entire game as far as I know that ships with a basement including all expansion packs I'd have to double check and I remember a live chat where they were so excited we figured out how to build a basement and this is what we got okay that's fine well we've got things that we can do here in the basement we are going to put these walls up right around the observation area such as they are and now we also have to go back up here and put the flooring back in. First you want to make sure you put it on the ones that are the level they're supposed to be. Shift click and then the rest. And then we will do these. And I'm going to get rid of that guy right there because we do not want free access to this. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's what we're doing. So now that we have our three levels as we want them, we need to choose, find a way to get from one area to the next, and let's do the spiral staircase. We're going to do the darkest of the most expensive one, and I need this to come up right about here, I think. All right, actually, right like that. Okay, and here, yep, that's a good, that's good. Okay, and then I need to go directly down, and that should work pretty well. Let's use our eyedropper and grab it and go down like that. And yes, that's what we're doing, and that's how we choose our floor plan for the rest of the house. Now I do like to garden downstairs just like I did, but we will make this a little discreet. Of course we're gonna put that there. That way our visitors don't go downstairs. 
and like I said we will make this a bit discreet so this will be the garden area here little swimming pool area right here uh, let's make it a little bigger okay and over here will be our fishing area and this will be how we get to everything so this will be kind of a little hallway and we might want to put in a little bit of a bathroom just in case they have to have a pit stop while they're down here okay so for the garden I am actually only going to give them a 4x4 four four garden that's because that's enough Oh, and I don't want that there and then for the swimming pool which was actually the first thing I ever thought to put in the basement and that was in a build that I did that was an apartment building before apartment life was released base game only was I created on a two by three lot a beautiful apartment building and in the basement I had a gym and a pool and after that I pretty much just figured you could put almost anything in a basement that you could put on the ground and over here we will go ahead and put some flooring down doesn't matter which and then take it one in in order and then we will dig our little fishing pond using the terrain tool water and we'll keep it on the small and there we go and then decorate it with a little bit of florals now when you build this sometimes you have a hard time finding where you can click fish so you have to click around but there's that and so that's the floor plan for the basement oh I didn't want this little wall right here so this is how I get into the garden area the swimming pool the fishing area and this is just a tiny little powder room so on the main level we're going to have the kitchen here at the back of the house where it belongs with access to the backyard such as it is and then we will have a little powder room right here in this area over here will be an informal family room and then the very formal sitting room we will go ahead and put the fireplace instead of having losing this area we will put the fireplace directly on this wall I'm just sectioning this off and we will actually do the same over here as the fire we will have a fireplace on this wall because and then we'll have the chimney on the outside of the building all right and on the upper level we're going to have a bathroom right over here and that will have access to both the second bedroom as well as the walking area up here we will continue having the master over here but we're going to do it a little differently so we will have a two by three bathroom here because they had way too much bathroom and we don't need that strange hallway and then the study or such as it is and if we really want we could probably put something else here but I feel like you know what let me change pace no I'm gonna keep this like it is but we can always convert this into another bedroom actually we are going to change pace just a little bit we're going to do this so the master is going to be just a little bit bigger we've got a smaller bathroom we don't need these huge bathrooms that they insist on giving us and this can be another bedroom because now we don't have to walk through this to get to the master and over here this will be kind of more of a study room that's what we're doing I am also going to put one more spiral staircase up and that's how we get up to here which would be 
the observation deck for the home. And now we're going to eliminate this. And we're going to create another mansard roof just like I did in the goth house. Not because I want to pl uh, play it, but simply because it will look better. So first you create your outline or your, your walls. Now I can use this for storage area, or if I really want to, I can play it if I come up with a way to get in there. As a matter of fact, if I came up with a way to get in there, it would be something like creating a hallway right here. I'm not going to do that, but that is an option should I want to do that at a later date. Okay, and then we're going to use the shed hipped roof and work it all the way around just like we did with the goth house. Oops. And I do kind of giggle whenever I hear a Sims 4 player talk about how hard it is to do a roof. They have no clue how fantastic Sims 4 roofs are comparatively. So much easier. So let's choose the roof angle chooser put it at exactly 68 degrees. Boom, 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 boom. Now we're going to do one more hipped roof and we're just going to put it right there. And that is that. We will grab this right here, page up, finish it off. And now I will go into my fencing tool, use this one right here, hold my shift key. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got that, and let's actually put a fence around here, and we don't need to worry about weather in their house because they're only going to be in this area for a tiny little area time, is let's talk about weather again. So the game shipped without weather and these archways do actually prevent weather, but I want something a little different so we're going to make it look a little more finished. We will use the matching doors to these archways which is the touch of Pagale right here. I am going to get rid of this put this in. Oh, we want the darker one though. Keep it dark. Just keep it dark right like that. And instead of these two archways, we will actually replace those with windows. And the one that I have in mind for them is from Mansions and Gardens. And I want the darkest covering with the darkest wood right like that and that. Now I will replace any exterior door with this touch of Pagale and I will be right back. Okay, so that is the house and the floor plan as it stands. Give me a few hours. I will be back with the finished product. Okay, so what was just a quick second for you was about three hours for me and you'll see that there have been some changes made to the facade as well. I changed my mind. I decided to really lean into the medieval facade, not necessarily throughout the build, but definitely on the outside. And so I used a lot of the Moroccan as well as the university stuff. And so we've got the door here. Uh, now this was actually less expensive than the Touch of Teach Kbagale door that I already had and each of these windows was less expensive than the ones that were already in there so not only did it create a better look for what I was going for but it also saved me some money I used this fencing around the outside because it just created a better look in my opinion so that's what I did on the outside. I did use this from University. This was actually more expensive. I filled in the gap right here on either side to kind of cover that up. 
and I also used a bunch of lanterns. Now up here I stopped every two tiles so I could put, like I laid it down and stopped, laid it down and stopped so I could put the lantern every two tiles, but I didn't do that all the way around. I just did it where it naturally stopped at every corner. So let's take a look at the inside. Now I did have to stop decorating simply because I did run out of money. I'm about a thousand away from their uh, from their budget because their budget was one forty nine ninety one, and I'm at one thirty eight ninety eight. So just a little bit over a thousand. Although it might show up to be a little more once I put them actually into the home. But so we enter. I've got the dresser where they can change out of their work clothes. There's a phone. I like a phone to be near the front door if I don't have anywhere anywhere else. I did create this as more of a den area. If I recall, Loki is actually a sports fan and Surf's is fitness or it's the other way around. So one of them is going to be a sports fan. All right. Over here we have the formal sitting room and instead of leaving this open or even putting a door I decided to use the what's it called I want to say mysterious the very mysterious shelving and so they can only get in there if you actively click the correct book now I did not feel that Circe is one that wants to engage in formal entertainment so I didn't feel she needed A, a large dining table or B, a separate room for dining. That's why we did this. Of course there is the powder room right off of the entryway and then we go up to the upper level. God forbid you should let them reproduce but if you must there is a nursery. And I did actually stick in with themes for this decoration, not necessarily because I wanted to, but because I was getting a little stressed for time. And we've got the high-end bathrooms. Always spend on bathrooms and kitchens. Your Sims will be much happier. One through there. Uh, gothy bedroom here. You will see I did mix and match. I did not stick with all gray or all purple or all red. You feel free to have fun with those colors. And in here I had the medieval. Now if I do recall these particular chairs cannot be sat upon if they are sat at an angle, but we will check that to be sure. I did forget to show you the lab for Circe and Loki. I outfitted the bedroom, the dungeon bedroom, with everything from Castaway, although that bed is actually quite comfy, so poor Nervous should wake up well. But everything in here is outfitted out of Castaway. I did put an easel here as well as three ballet bars because, you know, your visitors go straight to the ballet bar, but they can't go there because they can't get in here and everything is pretty grungy because you know you shouldn't let your neighbors see your evil machinations. So down in the basement we do have a nice little swimming pool. It's not huge, doesn't need to be. A little hallway through which we can get to a powder room. The garden area, that's only a 4 by 4 garden but that's okay and a little fishing pond. So they've got things they can do here and now let's put our family in and see what they think. But before I do put them in I will actually save this so it will be available. And I will post it on Facebook. I will give provide the link. Now we'll just go ahead and change that name right back. All right, and now let's find the beakers and put them in. So they should have just a little over a thousand in their bank, but it might be a little more because there may have been some adjustments made after the build. So. Yep, just a little more, about 
well no just over a thousand so yep that's exactly what we've got and let's send everybody where they need to be so first things first we're gonna send nervous to the lab so click on that bookcase and then the mysteriously mysterious mystery novel and then we will have him relax down here and I will have Loki and Cerse watch some watch some uh, show. Oh, they just made out, and I didn't even pay attention to it. Okay, Cerse, why don't you change to sports and Loki? Loki, why don't you join her? And yep, oh, Cerse is into science. All right, and Nervous is down here where he belongs. He will never leave the lab because he will not autonomously open that door. And that is, oh, I did actually want to check about that seat. All right, I'm going to have Cerse go up to that. And yeah, you can't sit in those seats on the angle, but you can sit in others. And Loki is on his way to work. And that pretty much does it for the Beaker household. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. BK out.